Welcome to today's episode, where we dive into the latest developments surrounding former President Donald Trump's unprecedented legal journey. From federal cases dismissed to his victorious return to the presidency, we'll unpack the legal and political implications of these events and what they mean for the future. Stay tuned for a comprehensive breakdown of this ongoing saga. Major case dismissed. Let's begin with a groundbreaking decision. A federal judge has dismissed a major case against Trump alleging that he sought to overturn the 2020 election results. This dismissal came at the request of Special Prosecutor Jack Smith, citing a long-standing Justice Department policy that forbids prosecuting a sitting president. Judge Tanya Chutkin's ruling was, without prejudice, meaning the charges could be refiled once Trump leaves office after his second term. Smith also filed to dismiss another case accusing Trump of improperly storing classified documents. Trump pleaded not guilty to both cases, but the Justice Department's policy played a significant role in halting these prosecutions. Justice Department policy and legal rationale. In Smith's filing, he emphasized that the decision wasn't based on the merits or strength of the cases, but on constitutional limitations. According to Smith, the United States Constitution forbids the federal indictment and subsequent criminal prosecution of a sitting president. This position underscores how Trump's presidency shielded him from most federal legal proceedings, at least for now. Trump's legal and political landscape. Trump's legal troubles aren't new. After leaving office, he became the first former U.S. president to face criminal charges. His conviction in a case tied to a payment made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels marked a historic moment. At one point, Trump faced nearly 100 criminal charges across multiple cases. However, this summer, the Supreme Court ruled that Trump couldn't be prosecuted for official acts taken during his presidency. This ruling significantly impacted ongoing cases, leading to the dismissal of most federal charges. Trump's social media post called the federal cases empty and lawless, describing the ordeal as a political hijacking. Vice President-elect J.D. Vance echoed this sentiment, stating that Trump's legal battles were always political. Implications of Trump's 2024 victory Trump's return to the White House has left several state-level cases in limbo. In Georgia, an appeals court is reviewing a ruling that could impact the election subversion charges brought by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. Similarly, Trump's sentencing in New York has been indefinitely delayed. Former federal prosecutor Nima Romani explained, It's well established that a sitting president can't be prosecuted. Trump's legal immunity while in office marks a significant turning point in these legal battles. Jack Smith's future and the remaining cases. Special Prosecutor Jack Smith, appointed in 2022 to lead two federal investigations into Trump's conduct, has started winding down both cases. However, Smith has stated that the documents case will continue for two co-defendants, Trump employees Walt Nauta and Carlos de Oliveira. The Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit is also weighing an appeal related to the classified documents case. Smith reportedly plans to step down next year signaling the end of a controversial chapter in Trump's legal saga. As Donald Trump prepares to take office once again, his legal troubles have largely dissipated. However, questions remain about the balance of justice and political power in the U.S. What does this mean for the future of presidential accountability? Stay tuned as we continue to follow this story and its far-reaching implications. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth discussions on politics, law, and current events. Until next time.